Hey, welcome back. I'm Tyler. It's Cast Iron in the Kitchen. We're going to be doing Hush Puppies tonight. That is a staple of Southern seafood cuisine. You probably heard of them. You may have never had them. It's kind of like glorified cornbread. Little ball, crispy, delicious inside. And you can hear my cat whining at me. Like I was saying, a staple of Southern seafood and barbecue. And it's so good. We're gonna make it tonight and let's get started. Let's not chat anymore. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna take you with me and we're gonna cut up our onion. Now, typically, sorry, typically, a yellow onion is used. I use a red onion for two reasons. One, I think it gives it a little more kick. Two, I've just always kind of been a little different. And we're not gonna use much of that onion. Very little, very little. We're gonna finely mince it. And I'm gonna set aside the rest. Let's mince up that red onion. Yes, sir. I don't care how it looks, it ain't gonna matter. Just needs to be small so it can go into our hush puppies. We've got our red onion minced. We've got one cup all-purpose flour, one cup cornmeal. We got our sugar, our salt, our baking powder, baking soda. I'm gonna do a little something here. I'm gonna add some Cajun seasoning. I like Tony Shashashere, <laughs> sorry. Goofy little guy. He was an actual chef. It's kind of hard to believe, but it tastes great. I'm going to add a tablespoon of this. Yep. There we go. And I'm going to add some garlic salt. I'm going to do About a teaspoon. And that is our dry powder. We're gonna make our wet mixture next. And we're gonna combine them with the onion and deep fry it. We are doing our wet mixture now. We've got half a cup of buttermilk, two tablespoons veggie oil. We're gonna put an egg in here. There we go. And we're gonna whisk this around. And you know what? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put my onion in there too. Whoop, whoop. Whisk it around, and then we're gonna add it to our flour mixture and cornmeal mixture. Whisk our dry ingredients around. This is really very simple because unlike some other ways you bake or make a dough or a bread and deep fry, it's just dry and wet. You just gotta add the onion to the wet and then you combine it. And we'll make our, our balls for our hush puppies. 
here momentarily. By now you may have noticed there's something a little different about me from what you've seen in my previous videos. I have no idea what it is. I'll leave that up to you to speculate. Let's get our peanut oil going. We're going to do it about right here. That's about what you want. Hopefully y'all can see that. Add our peanut oil. I want enough to cover the pups, but not so much that it's just gonna spill everywhere and I don't want it too hot where it's gonna spill everywhere. And you end up using basically a 24 fluid ounce bottle of peanut oil. And we're gonna bring that up to the heat that we just talked about. And I'm gonna start getting my batter ready. Let's do that. All right, let's mix these things together. Let's get this done. Let's do it. A wet mixture or dry mixture. Combine. And remember that that wet mixture has our onion in it. There we go. Let's stir it around. Stir it around. We want to make viscous. Isn't that a great vocab word? Your middle school teacher would have been very proud. We want to make viscous dough here, batter, whatever you want to call it, where we can spoon it out and tablespoon and make a little ball. And remember we got our uh, peanut oil heating up too. Strong arm stir, strong arm stir. Sometimes you just gotta be your own stand mixer. Yes, sir. After our strong arm mixing, it looks about right. This is about what you want it to look like before you start to roll it up. We got our tablespoon. And we're gonna make our balls. Our hush puppy balls. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Put it into our Dixie plates, <laughs> which you know I love. They're so convenient. We'll keep doing this. And I promise you the finale gonna be something truly remarkable. We've got our hush pups ready to go. And we're gonna start deep frying. Oh, you're a little crooked. There you are. We got our peanut oil heated up. You know it's hot enough when you reach and you can't, you can't keep your hands on. Almost burnt myself there. <laughs> we're ready to go. And we're gonna add a few at a time. You don't wanna do all of them right away. And be careful. Always be very careful with the deep fry. It has been many a poor boy's misfortune. 
There we go. And we'll preserve the remainder for the next fry, in the next round. We're gonna let this go for a few minutes and we'll flip them with our tongues. You may be wondering why I have a piece of cement on my counter, my kitchen counter. It was a nice day in Santa Rosa. Kind of sounds like the start of a Hitchcock film. And I went out and as I was walking back to my vehicle from the place I was patronizing, I noticed it under a park bench. And I said to myself, you know what? There's probably not anything good that can come of this just sitting around. So I did my civic duty and I took it with me. In truth, I think it will serve as a reminder of the little gal that waved at me, the, the little girl. She was eating in her restaurant with her family and I turned around, I was just looking at them and she had some food just hanging out of her mouth and she just waved at me like children do and I waved back and I thought that was pretty good. That, that, makes, that makes a good day. Let's get back to our hush puppies now. It's not a science, it's a craft. Yeah, not, not quite ready to turn, not quite ready. We've been going probably, I don't know, while I was talking, maybe about two, three minutes. We'll go a little bit longer. Okay, so we're ready to flip. Our smaller ones, Cooking faster, obviously. There we go. There we go. We'll let that go just a little bit longer. Maybe another two, three minutes. We'll see. They're good to come off now. See that? We'll rest them on our Dixie plate. You know, I think I'm gonna toss this one just a tad bit more. Yeah, that one's good. This big boy. I'm going to turn it on its side, let it get a little more. Hush puppies. Getting our last out. It's fine if it looks a little charred. Uh, you know, a restaurant typically isn't going to serve you one looking like that just because of people's weird animosity towards that sort of thing, just like how they don't want a onion that looks weird or an apple that looks weird. Heck, I'm the same. I, I do the same thing, even though I know it's stupid. But the taste with this, it's still gonna be great. In fact, it's gonna be greater it goes well with practically anything. Ranch, garlic aioli, buffalo, whatever sauce you get. 
When I say that hush puppies are glorified cornbread, I don't mean that to be demeaning. Not, not against you, hush puppy. It's actually a compliment because cornbread is awesome. Hush puppies are awesome. And I wish people would do more with them. You can add peppers, jalapeno. You can add cheese. Probably any cheese you want. Probably be great. Corn. Heck, you could probably add some nuts. And I don't know. I just now thought about that. Maybe that would be great. It'd probably be awesome. But enough of my talkie. Let me shut my mouth. Let's let our hush pups continue to cool. And with our cement block, that reminds us of what a wonderful day it has been. What a blessing. And we'll have these a bit later. We managed. We got through it. Our hush puppies are being served tonight with a surprise. I did this, this is my Cajun Alfredo sauce and orzo pasta. I didn't really feel like making it a show tonight because I needed a little time off. But these hush puppies are going to go well with this and this duck sausage, Cajun duck sausage. We'll make the Cajun Alfredo and the orzo pasta sometime soon. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy this. I'll have a bite of this, and I'll have my hush puppy. Justin Wilson for the win, for sure. Hush puppy. That's very good. That's very good. I, I did a good job. Wasn't the most presentable in appearance hush puppy I've ever made. But in terms of taste and texture, I think it may be the best. And that's good. It was a good day. Hope you enjoy this about hush puppies. Hope you make your own and I'm sure they'll be great. I'm Tyler, it's cast iron in the kitchen, it's always weird, it's always good. I appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, but if you just pass them by on the road, I get it. Take care y'all.